Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Today we're doing a how-to video. We are going to be installing additional memory into this Acer Aspire E15 laptop computer. Now I've previously reviewed this computer and a link to that review will be in the video description below. Please go check it out if you haven't already. In short, for $550, this is one of the best general purpose laptop computers on the market. Uh, it comes with an Intel i5 6th generation processor. It comes with a 256 gigabyte solid state drive, full HD 15 inch uh, monitor. It's a great, great machine. It comes with eight gigabytes of system RAM. If you're a heavy multitasker, if you open a lot of programs and you wanna have additional memory, this is how you do it. This is an eight gigabyte memory module. This is about $30. A link to this will be in the video description below if you need to order one of them. But basically, here's how you install it. We're currently looking at the top of it. The front of it is towards me. It opens up like this. What we're going to do is flip the laptop over sideways just like that. Now, on the bottom of the computer are a number of screw holes, and you will see an outline of an access port right here. Do not mess with any of these other screws. These are holding the whole laptop together and you will have a mess of pieces on your hand if you do. This is the only thing you need to access right here. In fact, they even provide a handy pull tab to pull it off once you've got the three screws out. You will need a number one screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver here, which I've got. I got this in my Vision Tech kit, which I uh, also bought myself off of Amazon for uh, $25. You don't have to spend that much. Um, this just includes about eight different screwdrivers, needle nose pliers, and a handful of other computer related tools. It's very handy uh, to have, but you can pick up a number one Phillips head screwdriver at major hardware stores for a couple of dollars. They're not that expensive. If you try to use a standard number two household Phillips head screwdriver, it won't fit. So there are three screws to remove all inside. One nice thing about these, oh, it's not very strong, but a magnetic screwdriver. These are quite deep, and so if you don't have a, man, a magnetic screwdriver, you may have to unscrew them and then turn the whole laptop over in order to get them out. But they are coming out of the holes because of the magnetic screwdriver. So I'll set those aside in a nice space place. Now that these three screws are out, we simply put our fingernail here in the corner and pry. It will snap and peel off just like that. There are a number of snap tabs on the bottom and then there's actually uh, clips along the bottom. So when you reinstall it, it goes in bottom first and then you just run your finger around and snap them in. So we'll set that aside. Inside this computer, the only thing you have access to are the memory slots. You can see the existing eight, gigab eight gigabytes of system RAM right here. There is room to install an additional eight gigabyte, bringing the total to 16. Now, because this laptop uses DDR4 or double data rate four, in theory, this laptop will go to 32 gigabytes of RAM, but that would be rather overkill for a dual core laptop. So frankly, 16 gigabytes is all I recommend. Um, next to that, you have your M2 solid state drive. This is the 256 gigabyte solid state drive the machine comes with. It is fully upgradable. There's a screw here. You simply undo it. It pops out, slides out. You can put a new one in if you want to get a bigger one in the future. No worries. We're not going to mess with that today. Over here is your hard drive bay. This is your two and a half inch uh, bay for a hard drive or solid state drive. Uh, I will show what to do with that in another video. So all we're going to do here is I'm going to open up my memory carefully so it doesn't go flying out. Lifetime warranty, oh goody. Will it fall out? Nope. Sometimes these memory modules are just held in by plastic. You don't want to bend it too much, obviously, but you got to flex the plastic to get it out. There we go. Now, these will look different depending on which one you buy. This has nice pretty stickers on it because G-Skill puts a uh, it's a retail kit. It's designed for end consumers. This doesn't have a pretty sticker because, frankly, almost no one ever is ever going to look at it, but it's the exact same thing. If you look along the bottom of the memory module, this part will look the same no matter what you get. There is a notch, not midway, not two-thirds over, but about, oh, that far over. 
It's different than DDR3. DDR3 and DDR4 are not interchangeable, so make sure that you buy DDR4 memory for this laptop. Other laptops I've reviewed had DDR3. It's different memory. Now, this is actually where it inserts along here, and you want to align the notch with the slot on the board because one side is smaller than the other. It does not go in vertical. It does not go in straight horizontal. It goes in at an angle just like so. No force. That is a zero force insertion. It is quite literally just sits there. But you notice the golden fingers go away. You can see them here. If you can see them, it's not in. You want to make sure that the gold on the bottom is gone. Once it is, that's it. You just push it down. There's nothing else to be done. Your memory is installed. At this point, when you boot up, Windows will see it and use it. There's no configuring to do. You're done. If you ever want to remove the memory, these two spring tabs on the side, push them to the side, and the memory pops right out. That's all there is to it. Now, we take our cover. We align the tabs in the bottom. And we simply run our finger along the edges, and you'll hear it snap. There we go. A little bit tight. There we go. Now, that's actually on tight. If you didn't screw it back in, it would stay, but you should screw it back in. So we're going to take our screws. Screw it back together. And you're done. Did you like this video? Click like. Did you not? That's okay too. Remember to subscribe to my channel. It's the big red button right down there. If you have already subscribed, thank you. If not, that's how you'll get updates to future how-to videos, performance videos, uh, unboxings, overviews, comparison guides, and all kinds of fun tech-related deals. Questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions, those go below the video down below. Let me know what you think. Did you like this? Did you not like it? Too much? Too little? Um, I appreciate your feedback, comments, and suggestions. Finally, I will note, as I say in most of my videos, um, I did not get this laptop for free or the memory. I buy everything I review on my channel. The links in the description below will take you to this laptop on both Amazon and to uh, Newegg. Those are affiliate links. They do pay me a small commission. It does not change your cost in any way at all, but they are my primary revenue source for this channel. If you want to support me, that's the best way to do it. You'll also find a link to the memory down below. Um, go check that out as well. Thank you very much for watching my video. I will see you next time.